On this video we're going to discuss cleaning up and organizing Logic Pro plugins. When Logic Pro first came out the number of plugins available was reasonably limited but over time it's grown into a huge expansive list especially third-party plugins from people like Universal Audio. Over time Logic Pro users have wished there was a way to organize their plugins a little better. Well a few updates ago Apple provided us with a solution and I thought, after some frustration with a recent project, it was time to explore how that worked. Now I've got a little uh, drum loop project here just to show you what I mean. Now let's say we wanted to add some reverb to that. Now I've got a bus end um, in order to add a little bit of reverb on the bus. Um, I love Universal Audio plugins, so let's say I scroll down to Universal Audio. I want to find a reverb plugin, but I'm met by a list of what looks like hundreds of plugins. Now when Universal Audio first came out, the list of plugins was relatively short, but they worked very, very hard to produce a lot of fantastic plugins. Um, and I need to try and find a reverb within this huge list. Now, I know that the AMS RMX16 is a reverb plugin, so let's try picking that one. Uh, and oh no, it's uh, not one that I've authorized or bought. So I either need to spend 300 bucks or $240 or whatever it is and find a solution. Now, of course, I do happen to know that there are some other um, Universal Audio plugins that I do own. Um, and one of them was called, what was it called? It was called the Plate uh, 140. Well, actually, these days it's called the EMT 140. So I can find it in the list and try and add that. Uh, let's, have, let's give that another go. Uh, I can try and add the uh, EMT 140. Uh, and there it is. Now, there, there should be a simpler way to do this. And of course, there is a simpler way. Uh, thanks to some recent updates from Logic Pro where we can um, actually go into the plugin manager and do a little bit of organizing. Now, the plugin manager used to exist solely for the purpose, purpose for the purpose, for the purpose of organizing um, and authorizing our Logic Pro plugins, our audio unit plugins. But these days, it also allows us to do some structural work as well. Now, you'll see here that there's actually a folder structure, which is the same folder structure that comes up when you search for a plugin. And what you can do is grab any plugin you want um, and put it into one of those folders, change the folders, reorganize it. It's actually quite a powerful tool to customize the way your plugins are organized in Logic. So I can grab the EMT140, drop it into Reverb, and then now it will actually appear in the Reverb shot folder along with Logic's own plugins. Uh, now the best bit on top of that is that you can actually do a little bit of customizing here. So if I want to change that name, now I said I always think of the Plate 140. Well I can actually type in Plate 140 and change the name. I can also add a short name as well. So I can just call this UAD Plate. And what that means is that then inside of the mixer window, what will appear here will actually be a short name that I've decided. Um, you, you have to click done and then there'll be a bit of a pause while Logic restarts the core audio engine and then all those updates have taken place. Now you can go through and do a massive amount of customization of your plugin folder structure to make sure that what you're seeing quickly are the plugins that you most use. You can create some favorite folders, uh, however you like. Now you can see here down here that actually UAD plate has appeared as a short name uh, in the mixer window. And when I go into that reverb window, I've now got UAD plate 140 here. Um, so in a future video, I may actually come through and show you how I end up customizing this for my own use. Um, if you'd like to see that, leave me a comment below. If you're interested in more videos like this, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel and um, uh, let me know if there's another video in uh, music production or uh, AV production that you'd be interested in seeing. Thank you very much.